Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome back to Food Thought. For brunch today, we're going to do just a little simple omelet, vegetable omelet. So I have four eggs, and just depending on how, how many people you're feeding, that's how you um, decide how many eggs you want. Um, I got some Parmesan cheese, some sharp cheddar cheese, some bell peppers, tiny bit of onions, parsley, and some mushrooms. Okay, you all, I got my eggs in the bowl. I'm going to use some pepper. You can use salt if you want to. We just choose not to have much salt in our diet. And I'm going to do some almond milk. You can do milk if you want to. If not, it's fine. You could just go. I'll just do a tiny bit. Give it let that. Give that omelet like a good almond, like a good milk taste to it. Almond milk taste. And you're just going to beat your eggs really good. You can put sour cream in your eggs. You can do whatever you want in your eggs. Whatever your tastes are, it'll work good in an omelet or scrambled eggs. It doesn't matter. Okay, you all, I'm going to use some butter. Put some butter in my pan to go ahead and start sauteing my vegetables. Okay, whenever the butter starts simmering, I just add a little drop of olive oil to it because we love olive oil in everything that we eat. And I'm going to do, put the vegetables in here to saute with And I'm going to use the parsley, but I'm, I'm going to show you when I'm going to use it. Because I don't really like um, cooked parsley that much. So I'm going to show you how to do that thing in just a bit. So we only we like our vegetables with a crunch. Don't like to cook them all the way. And then if you leave it with a crunch and you know that you're going to be putting it back on the stove inside the omelet, then that consistency turns out to be really good. So now just put your vegetables on a plate and set those aside. Now. Okay, you put a little bit more unsalted butter in your pan, and this is when the magic starts. Don't let your butter burn. Spread the eggs throughout the whole pan, just like that. And I don't, the key to making an omelet is you want the egg to cook all around here. You see how it's still runny? That's not, it's not ready for you to start putting your stuff in it because it's still runny. So what you can do is you see that bubble right there that is cooking the egg? The egg has cooked right there. You want all of the runny part to go into that part you may have to make another one and just kind of do not walk away from an omelet because it needs full attention the whole time just keep taking your pan kind of doing like that and everybody does omelets their own way but this this is how it works for me Okay, now this is when you're ready to start assembling. See how the looseness has gone away from the egg? 
So you're going to just, yes, you all, I use my hands a lot. So my hands are clean, I promise you. You can layer this however you want. I choose to put the vegetables down first, then the cheese, and then I take a little bit of the parsley and put in here because you remember I don't really like cooked parsley and then I'll show you what I'll do with the rest of it. 